How do I? Poem English. My Islamist cousin enlightens me. Islam is the only true prescriptive reality. My Islamist cousin enlightens me. Islam is the only true prescriptive reality. With an uncomprehending glaze, I stare at him. Unperturbed, the highly educated technocrat stares me down. You do realize that I have a better grounding in science and technology than you is pointedly left unsaid. Well, I stammer attempting humor you do have stratospheric educational qualifications but I'm not sure if you are actually grounded or float in the clouds instead I smile unsmiling unfazed he continues science can only describe technology only apply values cannot be deduced from a formula only Allah's will can give those to us and only our own free will granted by Allah can be used to follow them. Return to the right path shown to us by our good Lord. He concludes. He does not show often the steel under the soft spoken exterior excuse me I'm left speechless unlike him I tell myself I value people more than ideas people create ideas ergo are superior so I declare to myself that is why I find it tough to engage him in the battle of ideas reassured I put myself on a pedestal I'd rather that my ideas be denigrated than my loved ones but then really to be fair to him he actually does believe the same that people are superior to ideas just that his religion for him is not an idea it is the divine prescription excuse me and of course that is superior to both people and their ideas 
for divinity creates both. How do I find a common ground with him? The reality is that I have no clue. Excuse me. How do I find a common ground with him? The reality is that I have no clue. How do I make him see that if the universe needs a creator, so does the creator, a super creator. And if not, nor does the universe. Excuse me. How do I get his mind to focus on the fact that every believer always believes his own system to be the only true or at the very least the best system and invariably that is the same system he grew up in how could this be an evidence of truth and not of mere indoctrination. How do I tell him that every description good enough has got the seeds of prescription hidden inside it? That knowledge true enough always carries both. Does not the science of medicine, while describing reasonably well any malady, often has a corrective for it, even if a notch lower in efficacy? Excuse me. How can I convince him that knowing evolution it is only a matter of time and effort that we can map our values through it. The good and the right in a valueless universe are accorded values only by the observer based on his past evolutionary, cultural, intellectual, emotional, physical, chemical, biological, sexual, epistemological at all. How do I cut the Gordian knot of dogmas, religious and secular, all those ignorant pretenses of knowledge, much worse than plain ignorance. How? <laughs>